how to optimize the distance, bring Asia and Europe together, and expand the market's geography. Coming up in the program, Road to the Future. From this city to Astana, the distance is 450 kilometers. To the Russian city of Omsk, 405. Therefore, it is 45 kilometers closer than the capital of Kazakhstan. However, the Omsk region is not the only near-border neighbor of Pavlodar, the city which has the status of a regional center. Nearby, there are also two other regions of Russia, the Novosibirsk and Altai regions. And this triad geographical positioning forces, in the good sense of the word, the city Pavlodar and the Pavlodar region into Eurasian partnerships and a search for new prospects in transport logistics and trade. Hello, my name is Oleg Boldarev and you're watching The Road to the Future. The Pavlodar region is located in the northeast of Kazakhstan. Its territory 127.5 thousand square kilometers. It is big enough to be compared with the territory of some European countries, like Czech Republic, Hungary or Portugal. Thanks to geographical location, the Pavlodar region has quite a long border, 2100 kilometers. 1300 of them are shared with four regions of Kazakhstan, Akmola, Karaganda, East Kazakhstan and North Kazakhstan. The remaining 800 kilometers are along the near border territory with Russia. Today, Pavlodar shares a twin city status with four other cities. The closest is the Russian city of Omsk. The two cities share the waters of the river Eritish, highways, trade and economic interests, cultural ties, which have formed individuals that are symbolic for Kazakhstan and Russia. My Pavlodar, my town of a hawk, these lines made Kazakhstan's city famous throughout the entire Soviet Union. And their author is a Soviet poet, Pavel Vasilyev. He was born in Pavlodar and that is where he wrote his first poems. And then Vasilyev moved to Omsk. But even there, the muse of Pavlodar did not leave him. Literary critics consider Pavel Vasilyev to be a Eurasian poet, who emerged in his works the spirit of the Russian soul and the Kazakh steppes. His inspiration was to bring to life the imagery of Russian and Kazakhstan cities. This is Omsk, the old friend left behind in the steppes, and of course Pavlodar, the dear to one's heart, who I remember like a brother. Today, these cities at the backdrop of the near-border cooperation of Kazakhstan and Russia are becoming reliable partners in the realization of joint projects. And there are many projects like this. Coming up next, where the air, steel and roadways of the region lead. The history of Pavlodar's airport commenced in 1949, when the first flight to Moscow took off from here. That was the twin-engine Li-2 plane. And today Pavlodar's airport already has an international status. Flights have been established not just to cities of Kazakhstan, but also to neighboring Russia and Belarus. In more than half a century of its operations, the airport was reconstructed twice. The first changes were made to its flight runway strip. In 2006, funds were allocated from the Republican budget for the reconstruction of the flight runway strip and changing the light signaling equipment. Now we can accept air carriers without limits with regards to size. This concerns Boeing 757, Airbus 320 and 321. In 2011, the second stage of reconstruction was commenced. Over the year, the facade of the airport building was renovated, along with the interior, and the terminal was expanded. Thanks to the modernization, the throughput capacity of the airport became substantially higher. Today, the Pavlodar airport can serve up to five planes and 200 passengers per hour. Today, one of the tasks is to launch the flight Pavlodar Novosibirsk. Next year, starting in June, the airline Sibir is planning to have this flight once a week. There is another object in Pavlodar which enjoys the status of being the first. It is an infrastructural object, the railway branch Aksu Konechnaya. This is a railway line from which the construction of the railway lines of independent Kazakhstan commences. It connects the north and east of the country and laid the foundation for a new era of developing the railway industry in Kazakhstan. 
By the way, the Paladar region has quite a long network of railway lines, 170 kilometers. Considering Kazakhstan's size, this is 15% of the entire length of Kazakhstan's railway lines. From Pavlodar, this railway connection leads to the center and south of the country. In addition, the region's geography allowed it to improve communication along the South Siberian and Mid-Siberian railway lines with Russia. Thanks to the connection between railway lines and highways, a strategically important transport communication system has been formed on the territory of the region. By 2019, within the framework of the Norlajol program, it is planned to reconstruct the country's big road arteries. One of them is the highway Center East, which is considered to be an important connection for the transit cargo flow. The construction of the Center East Highway is being done simultaneously in three regions of the country, including the Pavlodar region. The road Astana Pavlodar is part of the Republican route Center East. Its length along the territory of the Pavlodar region is 215 kilometers. Concrete is being laid along 116 kilometers of it. On the other 99 kilometers, asphalt concrete. The classification of the material depends on the geography of the populated town. From Pavlodar to Ekibastus, it will be concrete. And from Ekibastus to the border of the Akmalar region, this will be asphalt concrete. The entire road surface will meet the first category A standard. The Astana Pavlodar Road plays a key role not just in the opening up of the economic potential of the Pavlodar region. This highway is of strategic importance for the entire country. It will connect regions of Kazakhstan with large economic centers of Russia's West Siberian region, such as Omsk, Novosibirsk, Tomsk, and the Altai Republic. Already today, experts forecast that this highway will charge the near-border cooperation of the Pavlodar region and four regions of Russia with new energy. Another large Republican highway project will create an additional effect, modernization of the omsk maikop transport corridor. One of its branches passes through the Pavlodar region, pavlodar simei Its distance, 168 kilometers. The highway passes from Pavlodar to the Akku town. Repair works are being conducted on 122 kilometers of the road. There are plans to use an asphalt concrete of the second category. On the remaining 46 kilometers, at the moment the national company is working on choosing subcontractors. Locally produced construction materials, which are made by mobile mini plants, are used in the reconstruction of the roads of Stanovodar and Pavodar Simei. Six of the mini plants produce 160 tons of asphalt concrete per hour. And the same goes for cement concrete, up to 200 cubic meters per hour. Coming up next, a river that unites countries. In terms of the number of symbolic criteria, this river is undoubtedly a record holder in Kazakhstan. Flowing into the Ob, Yertish is considered to be the longest inflow in the world. In addition, Yertish is the largest aquatic artery in the country. It spans for a distance of 4,248 kilometers. And in terms of this, Yertish is on par with world's renowned rivers, such as Russia's Yenisei, Canada's Mackenzie, and West Africa's Niger. Regular trade connections along the Irtysh River between Kazakhstan, Russia and China commenced in the 17th century. Back then, the most popular exported product that was transported along the river was salt. Because on the territory of the modern-day Pavlodar region, in the Middle Ages, big reserves of salt were found. And the international maritime traffic along Irtysh continued for four centuries. However, at the beginning of the 2000s, it practically stopped. This was caused by the economic downturn, loss of foreign partners and the shallowing of the river. The 26th of July 2012 can be considered the new starting point of near-border maritime cooperation between Kazakhstan and Russia. This is when the memorandum was signed between the Omsk and Pavlodar regions on the revival of the international navigation across the Irtysh. This was preceded by serious dredging operations and establishment of hydroelectric complexes. 
Today, the only harbor in Kazakhstan which ships cargo using this river is the river port of Pavlodar. In 2016, it sent 140 tons of cargo to Russia. The shipped items list included ballast rock, coal, wood materials, and salt, with which the trade history of the two regions commenced, the Pavlodar and Omsk region. The technical capacity of the enterprise allows us today to provide navigation possibilities from the 1st of May and practically until the 1st of November, transiting through cities of Russia, such as Omsk, Tobolsk, Hantamansisk, to the passage into the Gulf of Ob and to the city of Salihart. Today, the Pavadar port has all the necessary infrastructure which is needed for the shipment of cargo. The technical park of the river harbor includes seven port cranes, ten jackup rigs, and equipment for dredging operations. In addition, we have our own transport department, mechanisms for loading and unloading, four kilometers of railway lines. This means that this is practically a fully equipped transport and logistics center for the realization of intermodal cargo traffic. This concerns complex shipments. They include three types of communication, by river, railway and highways. The Pavlodar River Port has a number of reasons for using a multimodal system of transport. First of all, the container shipment of cargo by railway from Omsk to Pavlodar, due to the absence of a direct route, requires to redirect the transport through the Altai Krai. And this takes 7 to 10 days. Shipping across the Irtysh is twice as fast. Considering intermodal shipment, the river port, the railway transport to Horgos, this reduces substantially the transport costs and can facilitate the creation of quite a competitive environment, especially in the sphere of shipment of wood materials through Kazakhstan, Central Asia, including China. Coming up next, what does it take to build a bridge or the new mega project to Central Asia? Cable State Bridge across the Irtysh River is bidding for the status of the biggest bridge structure in Central Asia. This bridge